my name is Danny Gillingham. I um, work on CCU currently as a deputy sister. I'm here today to try and make change, um, change for patient safety. Um, nurses have been pushed, pushed to work way past their caseload of where they can provide actually decent care for patients and also for the pay cut that we've received with inflation as well. Um, patients aren't safe and we're struggling to make ends meet so that's why I'm out on the picket line today. Inflation's gone up by about 10, 10% even more now and um, people are struggling to fill their cars up, people are struggling just to have to get normal food from the supermarket and being able to feed their families, having to go to food banks to feed their families when we should never ever be in that position when we're hard working people. Yeah, they're putting in anti-strike laws so it enables people not to have to strike which therefore deterrents people from striking anyway and changes need to be made and this is a way of the government controlling us to make us not strike and to take a meaningless, a meaningless pay rise of maybe 1.5% like they've just done in Wales. Anti-strike laws are stopping people that are hard working people to be able to strike doesn't matter if you've been qualified a year, qualified six years, you should six years you should still be able to strike. I would like to see a unified picket line of everyone together, everyone pulling together to be able to work as one. We all provide a service to the public to try and make it better for everybody, to try and make patients better and to make them well again. So therefore there should have been more concrete plans to be able to have a more unified strike today. I'm very let down by the government. Um, they're funding war in Ukraine by sending tanks and they're also um, there was lots of money that was invested in track and trace and lots of millions of pounds invested in PPE that people never saw when on the pandemic people were wearing bin bags, people weren't wearing proper masks, people had their PPE masks taken away from them so they didn't have proper safety but they can't invest in us for what we want. It doesn't seem fair when they can invest in everybody else but they're saying that there's not enough money to help, help us. At the end of the day this government has always made the richer richer and the more working class work harder and pay more for what they need and I feel like it should be more of a level playing field and we shouldn't have to be working to the ground to try and make ends meet.